Welcome to your weekly Sidero forecast for June 22nd through the 28th. My name is Athen. So we've got more of this whole lunar energy of that 10th house of yours relating to work, career, everything on that public level which is where you had the new moon conjunct up to Mars last week. So we enter this week in the crescent phase. So uh, as the week unfolds, we'll be feeling more and more of this energy for you specifically relating to that 10th house. Now things kind of shift this week though, um, and you probably noticed this um, la the, the week last weekend when your ruler shifted into the 11th house, which is more about giving, contributing, satisfaction from work, income from work, things like this, which I think you're going to be definitely focused on for the next 30 days and really motivated towards as, um, you know, this week, this early part of the week unfolds with Mars going into your 11th house to join up with that sun as well. So here, you know, really putting in that energy, really putting in, you know, focusing on the um, satisfaction from work, how you can give, because, you know, giving is the greatest satisfaction we can get from our work right so giving through there and I, I'm really emphasizing the work and career stuff because that's where this whole lunar cycle is but the 11th house is also networking it's also uh, groups and communities okay so anything on that level as well friends is another area of that so I'd really be putting energy into that uh, with this kind of aspect these two planets are at the top of the chart so they're in vigorous positions here um, and so there the energy here is is definitely available to be put into that for sure so um, that's going to be a shift, but I, like I said, I think you already noticed that shift last weekend, but um, certainly this week as well. Now, this whole week, we've got this very nice trine between Uranus and Jupiter, still in effect from last week, uh, going exact on Monday, however. So this whole freeing up of your eighth house, of the deeper stuff, you know, a lot of these things relating to transformation, the depth of life, you know, the attachments in our life, our fears, you know, things like this. The ones that are just not healthy, that are no longer serving us anymore, um, you've been hopefully releasing that. And through that, you've been finding this liberation. And that's been Uranus and the South Node transiting that eighth house. So that liberation of those deeper things that are just, you know, no longer necessary are supporting your enjoyment of the tranquil energies of life, the behind the scenes activities, your connection to God or the universe, however you see that. So that trine energy is still very much in effect, goes exact on Monday. More opportunities for you to connect to the um, spiritual aspects of life, meditative and tranquil energies. Excuse me. And um, that is uh, freeing you up as well. And, and Jupiter does naturally rule your self-expression. So I think that's been freeing up also. Does rule that eighth house, so the transformation, like I said. And Venus uh, is going to get closer to that Jupiter going conjunct next week on Monday. So as the week unfolds, really enjoying these things. You're really enjoying these, you know, uh, not only behind the scenes things, but your self-expression. The transformational energies of life, the deeper, more meaningful aspects of life and likewise venus naturally ruling that 10th house of yours relating to work and career i think more opportunities with that as the week unfolds but that'll be specifically on monday of next week but certainly uh you'll be seeing that and um opportunities there are also opportunities to uh to 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 communicate or to learn as well or to write even with Ju uh, with venus who naturally does rule your third house so a lot of this activity here very supportive, very nice conjunction, especially when it's trining up to Uranus like that. And this whole uh, trine is going to be all week long. Now, uh, let's see, around Tuesday, Mercury for his third and final time does square up to Neptune. So here it is important to remember to trust and let go with everything relating to the career stuff, which you've already learned, you've already figured out uh, or been thinking about over the past few weeks since Mercury now is, um, he's gone retrograde and back over this position now for the third third and final time so now it's always an integration period so what you learned over the past few weeks in relation to uh, trust and letting go uh, in the career public stuff one final sort of implementation of it you might say um, this week with that square and just letting go trusting with that also trusting with the um, you know 11th house matters which again is enjoyment satisfaction things you derive from work as well also with friends and groups trusting with that because mercury does rule that 11th and also trusting with the financial or material and value side of things because mercury does rule that second house of yours as well Okay, that's the early part of the week, specifically around Tuesday. Then midweek, Chiron goes retrograde in that seventh house, helping you uh, now heal more with relationships on the more internal level. This whole reflection now has been taking place with relationships in general for you, uh, with Neptune recently going retrograde in that seventh house. How to trust and flow and to let go 
um, with you know those those seventh house matters one-on-one -on -one connections and relationships and all that can be very healing as well and wanting to learn about it even more now you know for the next six almost six months now with Chiron going retrograde in that seventh uh, can be very healing in the process now no aspects some um, other than that during the week then over the weekend your ruler does square up to the north node in that second house so this is a reminder that this whole year is about the material values for you to increase your material abundance you might say you know your material um, enjoyments of life um, but just really being grateful for the things you have in your life, but putting energy into it because the North Node is about constructively and in a grounded way, putting energy into that particular area of your life. So for you, it is the second house of, uh, you know, which is where the North Node is transiting. So this weekend with the square, especially from your son, your son which is your ruler, um, over the weekend, constructively bringing conscious awareness to um, putting energy into that second house will be very uh, supportive for you, very like I said, very constructive, which is what this whole year is about for you. Also that weekend, more opportunities, I think, to connect to the spiritual, tranquil, peaceful side of things because that conjunction will be very close. And then Venus will be trining up to Uranus, really emphasizing that as well.